Hello beautiful people. Today we will be talking about, can anything travel faster than the speed of light? I am sure, that you will never want to travel faster than light after watching this video. So, let's start the video. In 1676, by studying the motion of Jupiter's moon, Danish astronomer Ole Romer calculated, that light travels at a finite speed. Two years later, building on data gathered by Romer, Dutch mathematician and scientist Christian Huygens, became the first person to attempt to determine the actual speed of light, according to the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Huygens came up with a figure, of 131,000 miles per second, 211,000 kilometers per second, a number that is inaccurate by today's standards. We now know that the speed of light, in the vacuum of empty space is about 186,282 miles per second, 299,792 kilometers per second, but his assessment showcased that light travels at an incredible speed. According to Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity, light travels so fast that, in a vacuum, nothing in the universe is capable of moving faster. We cannot move through the vacuum of space faster than the speed of light, confirmed Jason Cassabury, an associate professor of aerospace engineering at the Propulsion Research Center, University of Alabama in Huntsville. Question answered, right? Maybe not. When light is not in a vacuum, does the rule still apply? Technically, the statement nothing can travel faster than the speed of light isn't quite correct by itself, at least in a non-vacuum setting, Claudia de Ram, a theoretical physicist at Imperial College London, told Live Science in an email. But, there are certain caveats to consider, she said. Light exhibits both, particle-like and wave-like characteristics, and can therefore be regarded, as both a particle, a photon, and a wave. This is known as wave-particle duality. If we look at light as a wave, then there are multiple reasons why certain waves can travel faster, than white, or colorless, light in a medium, Duram said. Still watching? Subscribe the channel for more videos like this. The most obvious visual example, of this occurs in rainbows, which typically have the long, faster red wavelengths at the top and the short, slower violet wavelengths at the bottom, according to a post by the University of Wisconsin-Madison. When light travels through a vacuum, however, the same is not true. All light is a type of electromagnetic wave, and they all have the same speed in a vacuum, 3 by 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. This means both, radio waves and gamma rays have the same speed, Red Elaine, a physics professor at Southeastern Louisiana University, told Live Science in an email. So, according to DeRam, the only thing, capable of traveling faster than the speed of light is, somewhat paradoxically, light itself, though only one not in the vacuum of space. Of note, regardless of the medium, light will never exceed its maximum speed of 186,282 miles per second. Universal Look According to Castlebury, however, there is something else to consider when discussing things moving faster than the speed of light. There are parts of the universe, that are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, because space-time is expanding, he said. For example, the Hubble Space Telescope, recently spotted 12.9 billion-year-old light from a distant star known as Arendelle. But, because the universe is expanding at every point, Arendelle is moving away from Earth, and has been since its formation, so the galaxy is now 28 billion light-years away from Earth. In this case, space-time is expanding, but the material in space-time is still traveling within the bounds of light speed. So, it's clear that nothing travels faster than light that we know of, but is there any situation where it might be possible? Einstein's theory of special relativity, and his subsequent theory of general relativity, is built under the principle that the notions of space and time are relative, Duram said. But what does this mean? If someone was able to travel faster than light, and carry information with them, their notion of time would be twisted as compared to ours, Duram said. This would indicate, that it would probably not be desirable to make a human travel faster than the speed of light. But could it ever be possible? Will there ever be a time, when we are capable of creating craft that could propel materials and ultimately humans through space at a pace that outstrips light speed? Theorists have proposed various types of warp bubbles that could enable faster than light travel, Cassabury said. But is DeRam convinced? But sending actual physical humans, at the speed of light is simply impossible, because we cannot accelerate ourselves to such speed. The only way we can understand, going faster than light would be to use some type of wormhole in space, Elaine said. This wouldn't actually make us go faster than light, but instead give us a shortcut to some other location in space. 
Castlebury, however, is unsure if wormholes will ever be a realistic option. Wormholes are theorized to be possible, based on a special solution to Einstein's field equations, he said. The only way we could understand, going faster than light would be to use some type of wormhole in space. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet you in the next one till then goodbye.